One of the um, concepts you have to get used to when programming is certainly how to compare numbers to compare numerical values. We might do that sort of thing if we're checking to see if a correct number of characters has been entered into a text box. Or we might just compare two numbers for some reason in a program. And first of all, you need to get used to the symbols and know what the symbols mean. Um, they're generally the V on its side, the crocodile's mouth, um, the arrow, whatever you want to call them. And if the crocodile's mouth, um, its open part of its mouth is pointing to the left, that is the greater than symbol. So the opposite one is the less than. And then you might introduce what are known as greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. We have the equal signs afterwards as well. So there's some um, examples there on the screen at the bottom. And if you're not too familiar or comfortable with this concept, you might just want to pause the video for a minute, have a look at these, and do some further research before we look at how they're used in programming. How they might be used in programming? Well, here's a very simple VB6 application where the user is asked to enter a value between 5 and 10 inclusive. Uh, if they enter a value between 5 and 10 inclusive, they should get a, a message saying success. If they enter a value that isn't 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 or 10, then they should get a message that says fail. So let's try it out. Uh, so I'm going to put in the value 1 and click. we can click on either of these buttons. Okay, uh, And I get fail. Try 4, fail. Try 5, success, 10, success, 11 should be a fail, and is. So, uh, what's the code look like? Here's the form, the code for the first button. We've got a variable called iUserValue. That variable is set to the value from the text box here, and then the variable is used in the comparison. So we're saying if the variable I use a value, so the, the value that the, the user has put into the text box is greater than or equal to 5, then check that it is less than or equal to 10. So if it satisfies both those checks, then we have success. If it doesn't satisfy both those checks, then we have fail. Um, so the greater than and equals to are used probably more often than just the um, symbols by themselves without the equal signs. So this second block of code is for the second button that was on the form and it does exactly the same thing but in a slightly different way. It says if the value entered is less than 11 then check to see that it is greater than 4. If so, success. So things can be done in different ways. There's no right and wrong answer but we tend to stick to uh, using greater than and equals 2 or less than or equals 2.